right, we're back. Another episode of Saturday Night Gaming. Now with twice the players. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Now we are fully staffed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Back to our originally programmed. <laughs> we we added one more and now we're complete. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's go ahead since we're uh, we're all here now. Go ahead and start with uh, you, Dan. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'll be played by Dan. Um, we are a preacher slash priest slash don't look into it too deeply. Um, <laughs> and focus really hard on the fire and brimstone because we like punishing the evildoers. Um... Uh, I uh, had fun time last week fighting against something in the dark. Uh, learned don't fight creatures in their own cave because it's not going to go well for you. But it went okay because I had friends. And the power of friendship compels you. You had friends in low places. <laughs> You, you sound like a My Little Pony. The power of friendship. <laughs> friendship. <laughs> friendship is magic. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, <laughs> All right. Next. <clears throat> uh, your favorite, truly, uh, Matt Bennington here. Um, I am playing uh, Dobby Flintwick. Um, he's a, a tortured goblin soul out for vengeance against the Order of the White Hand. That's all he is. And you will meet him shortly. Yes, you will be meeting me shortly. In story. Do, do the Order of the White Hand all have white hands? Their left hand is is white as snow. That's it. Sounds like a condition. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like yeah. a sprite. They, they, wear, they, wear, <laughs> they wear black robes and a single left white hand. Kind of gives them away a little bit, but you know. Right. Go for it. So you guys head for a day trip right into the forest. <laughs> a day stroll. And you're like, man, the forest looks much different than it does at midnight. Yeah, I can actually kind of make my way around. And see where I'm going this time. Weird. Hey, there's those weird crosses on the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, guys, a claw mark. Wait a minute. <laughs> Um, are we actually going in the direction that I went last night? Are you? Is it that where you Is going? northeast the direction that we went last night? Uh, you just went north, really, so... Okay, so we might miss it. Or we might run right into some guardsmen and Rebecca. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's go that way. Wander, wander, wander. We should go that way. <laughs> um, yeah, I really don't need to be seen there anyway. No reason. <laughs> okay. So he's wandering in force? Uh, we're headed. He seems to know which direction he's going. Sounds good. Yep. So, I, f I, I stroll alongside him. <laughs> All right. Possibly slightly. Are you looking for anything in specific? Uh, I'm trying to slowly work my way back towards home. Since I have a rough idea of where it is. It's just getting there. Yeah. Or, you know, the white hand. Whichever comes first. Do you mention the white hand? Well, you have yet to ask me about my scar, so... Well, I am assuming that we will <laughs> have conversations along the way. I know how I got these scars. <laughs> Do you have any memory of what hurt you so that I found you in such a state in my town? 
Yes. I remember it all. The hands of filthy humans. That's what it was. But chance. Months. For months. Filthy humans. For months they followed you. For months they tortured me. They tortured you. Made me drink your nasty vials. Do you know a descriptive of these humans? The white hands! The white hands! I look at my hands. <laughs> and, and like as he's saying, like he, uh, like if you picture Gollum from Lord of the Rings when he's like, he like freaks yeah. out. That's the face you kind of see on him at this point in time as he's saying it. Calm, bro. Save it for them, when we find them. They will burn. How, do, how is it that they normally find you? They snuck on us. They sneaks. Ah, so they hunt. Perhaps... We could hunt the hunters. Lay in ambush. <laughs> okay, ambush, you might know that word. <laughs> if I could find them. Uh, if they are as tenacious as you say, they will find you. And then I will find them. Make a notice check. Two. Yeah, I definitely noticed that. Yep. While you're in the woods. What's Red doing out here? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I know it's you, Red. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Uh, which direction? East. Would you mind a slight detour while we check that out? Sounds like a human, by the way. <sighs> he doesn't mind. <laughs> okay, so you, um, you head towards that direction. Yes. Okay. Alright, make another notice. Uh, three. One. Spot it right before the goblin steps on it. It's a trap. It's a net trap. So you get his attention right before he steps on it. Don't step there. Okay. <laughs> he kind of he points to it, points up, and you see the little mechanism. It's a net, basically, it just cuts you and hang you up there. And then you hear voices not too far from you in that direction. Oh. And not yelling, just normal value. Ooh, can I be sneaky sneak? And uh, that direction? Uh, sneaky sneaky says. <laughs> sure. Awesome. Stealth it up. I light my one finger and I set the trap off with my with fire. <laughs> Um, three, no, two, two. Do I get help from him doing that? 
Because they're going to be distracted. You sneak, sneak. I'm sneaking around. Yeah. Then you get in position in here. What the? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> what do I see? I gave you a little extra light. <laughs> I'm assuming they're going to come running. No. No. Okay. Um, you, uh, they're too busy actually at the moment. No. Yes. They're handling, um, a young girl that they just threw into a cage. Hmm. Hi, Red. Oh, it's Red? It's Red. Awesome. I thought I recognized and you. And these are bandits. More specifically, slavers. But, they've, you know them, their outfit. They've been known to, uh, raid towns in the middle of the night, grab people. Excuse Cardinal me while I go back bitter. into my backstory. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I remember. Yes, I have a problem with these people. <laughs> yeah, I do. So, Red's yelling at him, and she says, When I get out of here, I'm going to tear you apart. And then Banish just look at her, and they just laugh. And they say, Ha! I do like her heart. He's, the band looks at her and says, it would take a bear to break these cages. <laughs> um, seems like time to distract them. Um, do I see them? The bandits? The one that's mm -hmm. closest to the cage? One is talking to her. Are we no. in the same zone as the Bennett's or zone away? One zone away. Okay. While they're talking, I'm going to uh, high jump into the tree so that I can get some altitude. Okay. Make athletics. While I'm using... You still got to make the rule. Okay. You just get access to that aspect though. Yeah. Which gives um, you a bonus or a reroll. I'm going to fireball <laughs> the bandits. <laughs> I'm gonna use the wings. Kind of jump. <laughs> uh, Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to aim for it. <laughs> <laughs> two by the way. Two to get up into the tree. Two to get into the tree? Yeah. Five total. Did you add your two to it? Because uh, no. you get access to that aspect, the high jump aspect. You can either add two or re-roll. Okay. I'm going to add two. Okay, so it's a four. It's a four. Yeah, you make an entry. Okay. So, as you do that, or, or as you prepare that, you look over and then the reverend just like... <sighs> leaps out 15 feet into the tree <laughs> from standing. Okay. Incidentally, that's what I look like. But not as dirty? No, I'm not in the tree, so I actually probably am kind of dirty. Yeah. Alright, so you, and then you throw the fireball? Yeah, fireball. Okay. So as soon as you land into the top of the tree, uh, you see this huge ball of fire that comes from the direction where you just were. Mm -hmm. And then it hits that area and, uh, you know, catches the area on fire and it hits everybody in there. Mm -hmm. You know, the bandits are all hit and everything as well, it just kind of engulfed the whole area in flames. You did two shifts, by the way. Two shifts? Okay. I'm yep. gonna glide down. And now the, the bandits are panicking. And they're trying to put themselves out and everything. I'm gonna glide down kind of quietly. I'm, I'm guessing she also took damage. Yes. I'm gonna try to glide down stealthily and see if I can open the cage for her. All right. To get her out while they're distracted. Well, yeah, they all look straight up at the ridge. Yeah, and it's in the goblins. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, he he's he's not waving. He's just got like like <laughs> some mini fireballs on his ring chips, like <laughs> with a you know yeah, uh, mischievous <laughs> mischievous <laughs> look. <laughs> yes, hell's so, own grenade. Make a stealth. Uh, four. 
All right, you successfully land at the cage as all of a sudden they turn their attention up towards him. All right, and then, uh, all right, so a couple of them, they, uh, they pull out their bows, they start firing at you. Okay. There's six bandits total, about three of them pull out bows. So go ahead and make uh, three rolls. All right. Actually, no, make one roll. One roll? Yeah, okay. one roll. All right, let's see. Yeah. Right. And then the other three make their way up to you, basically move up into the zone. Uh, two. Two. Yes, two. Two. All right. What, what was that you rolled? Uh, athletics. Oh, you can roll magic. Oh, I can. Oh, you can, you can use it. Magic is defense. Well, then it'll be three then. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Too many arrows, they're made of wood. <laughs> <laughs> you throw a couple of fireballs to kind of like, you know, distract them from firing the arrows, but it, it distracts one of them, but the other two hit true. It's just yep. two shifts. All right. Eesh. All right. And then the other three bands kind of move into position where you are now. Okay. So you got three right there with you, you got the other three down there. All right. All right, now it's you guys. You landed stealthily, by the way, Reverend. All right, I'm going to... Am I able to unlock... Like open the cage, or do I need? Yeah, make a roll for it. Yeah. Am I gonna need a key? Oh, uh, depends on how you want to do it. You could try using like you know breaking it open. You could try lock picking, thievery. Um, is it like wood cage? Metal. Metal. Did I happen to see which one of them was the one that put her in the cage? Uh, well, yes. He's actually not there now. He's actually up where you were. Okay. He moved. Um. Can I try the the this skill? Stunt. The stunt. stunt. Because that does unnatural damage. The behold? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does supernatural damage. Wow, oh, that's. Wait, that's the extra. Is that? No, no it's, it's not a stop. The extras are the eyes and the wings. Yeah, it's when, it, when a creature dies from a natural attack. Okay. So it just looks like it was done by Supernatural. No. It's already kind of, it's already built in. Okay. And you have high satiety, right? Uh, yes. Which you gain access, currently have access to try again. So you can use that stunt, um, and then you have access to try again, basically. Um. And you also gain a bonus by spending satiety to the attack. Yeah. So essentially what you do is when you use that stunt, you're attacking with your natural attack, and then you have this uh, added effect on it. Okay. I'm going to attack the lock. Just bang. Okay. On the lock. Using this? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and spend uh, three satiety to make sure this lock breaks. So you get plus three bonus. So make a regular um, attack, melee attack. Fight. Uh, yeah. So plus two, plus three, so eight. Eight? Yeah. Because I got two, plus my three and fight, plus the three session. Eight, nice. Yeah, you, uh, you basically rip the uh, <laughs> door right off the cage. You just... <laughs> and red just moves further back in the cage away from you. <laughs> Come, sister. I, I, I try to coax her out of the cage and say, Come, sister. Get your revenge. And then I take off. I turn to head off and fight. The things that were. Yeah, you got three archers in your area. 
and you're zoned, and the other three are in his zone. They're not archers, they're actually swordsmen. I'm assuming I can't act again. No, you can change zones if you like, but you can't act again now. Um, I'm going to move up right behind the first archer, the closest one to us. Well, I mean, you can move freely in the zone with no action. Oh. Or with no movement, you just, you're just in the zone. Yeah, I'm going to move over right behind the okay. archer. Position yourself behind him. Gotcha. Alright, what are you doing, Dobby? <clears throat> Man. So these guys just moved into my zone, right? Yep. Alright. Um, whenever one first came into the zone, is it going to get ankle shanked? Alright. Gotcha. So, go ahead. Ooh. Nice. A seven. <laughs> nice. Seven. Yes, that is. Yeah, so as soon as that, you know, he moves into the zone, he kind of positions himself right behind you, and you just shank him. Yep. Before he even knows what hit him. He's on the ground. He's right behind you, and you go, sink. Yeah. <laughs> and you finish him off. At least two in the zone, and now you can actually act because that was yep. actually as they moved in. Yeah, um, and then for my actual action, um, I will just go ahead and, and uh, do a normal, uh, I guess, a, and kind of fire spell. Okay. Against uh, the nearest one to me again. Gotcha. <laughs> you did it again. It it just loves the dice, man. It's like a void. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, I gotta stand up for it. <laughs> it's gonna make you work for it. It really is. Dang. <laughs> Got all behind cords and everything. Alright, so two. Two. Huh. Right. I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and do my affinity for fry on that one to make it a and five. Three ones per scene? Yeah. Okay, so that's five. Alright, that's enough. So, yeah, you, you throw a firebolt. And it hits him like dead center in his chest, and you can see it just start like the fire starts eating away at his armor and then the skin, and he falls down to the ground. So he's one. Yep. I start cackling. <laughs> That's a human. Can you hear? You heard one, one. Now you hear two, two. <laughs> then he's like, are we chanting? Three, sir. Can I please have some more? <laughs> I gotta be hungry soon. Uh, uh, I'm a little heat too. What are you at now? Three dead humans, four little five ah. little six dead right humans. Yeah, right in the middle. All right. So their turns. So two or yeah, two coming at you. You got the archers firing at you, so you can make a roll on that one. Yep. And then the uh, swordsman. Okay. So All right. the archers, of course, it's a higher because there's three of them. Yeah. All right. So archers. Ooh, that's that's a five. Yes, five. Five. All yep. right. So that's a tie. Ooh. Which means they just get a boost. Okay. okay. That's all. All right. And then for the actual uh, guy who's trying to stab me. Yep. Come on, flame armor, kick in. A four. Four. You yep. avoided that. Yay. <laughs> He's used to fighting taller opponents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any shifts on that? Like children. Uh, just a straight up avoid. Uh, it, one shift. One shift? Okay, so you take one shift to fire. Yep. Oh, I got a CC with style. Yeah, CC with style, yeah. Everyone. Yeah, three or more CC with style. Yeah, dang. Okay. Yep. That's what that oh, sorry, so you avoided that. Yep. But. As you avoid that attack, though, it kind of makes you more open for the archer attacks. Yep. And you notice this, by the way, Reverend. Yeah. You notice he, he kind of, he avoided an attack, but now he's open, his back's like open to archers. Mm. What do you do? I whisper in the one who I'm standing right behind. What you looking at? <laughs> you like picking on little people, huh? And I kind of loom above him and just slice down. Alright, make it. 
Is this your behold a true form? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, you're no longer at high satiety then. I am not, but oh. with the four, because I'm dropping this guy, <laughs> four should cancel out all but one of those minus, or more. Yes, you would have plus one. It leaves me with a plus one, plus three. So, so four. 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 And he wasn't aware of me, so does that give me a plus two? Oh, uh, you can activate, uh, you access a surprise. You can ask, activate it for free. Okay. It's a boost. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Our right, so you what total? Um, With that? Three plus one is four, plus the two is six. Six? Yeah, that's enough to drop him. Awesome. Compelling you, sir, to protect her with your life. Uh, yeah. Uh, I accept. Will do. Compelling the vengefulness on you, sir. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Vengeful against just uh, yes, the, the one in front of me or the archers? The archers, since they're ones that actually have damaged you. Okay. You will not stop until after they're dead. <laughs> okay. I, 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 so, do I see him? So you drop that archer, Reverend. Yeah. You just, you drop him. Now, the surprise is over. The archers know you're there now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do I still get to do anything? Or no, that's just... it. You just get, you got access to a boost, the surprise boost. I, I make sure that they can see my hands are covered in blood. Yes. <laughs> yes, they see you and they go, what are you? That's for you to find out. I'm using that as my readied armor of fear. <laughs> By the way, for when they attack me. Also, right. I'm going to move right to the first, the closest one to me. Davi? Um, Davi definitely charges uh, the last one up there. Yeah, the very last archer. Start jumping on his back. <laughs> so skip, 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 skip. As a matter of fact, yeah, that, that's exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna, he's gonna run in there, <laughs> and he's gonna be like, "Last guy, die!" and just start stabbing. Actually, shank, 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 shank. <laughs> shank, shank, no, no, shank. he's gonna sh leave the shank for when the next person follows him back into the zone. <laughs> shank, shank, shank. Got a Yoda from Soul Calibur. <laughs> It is a plus. We'll keep it as a plus. <laughs> okay. Then that, that's a seven, then. You know, Dan sat there last week and didn't hit a single one in there. Yeah. I heard he rolled very poorly, too. <laughs> Apparently, that's where all the luck is, man. And you gotta throw them all in there. <laughs> it's the luck. No, no, no. You can't, can't, can't throw them all in there. Just one. <laughs> Every roll. That's it. <laughs> all right. So that's what total? Seven. Seven. Yep, that's he's murdered. Just <laughs> kind of stabbed him over and over again. Still stabbing. Still stabbing. That's and the reference. Like, ah, uh, you know they're dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. I admire your gusto, sir. <laughs> All right. So uh, yes, you succeed with. Uh, Taking the last swordsman out, so you have two archers left. And uh, well, actually, since you kind of disappeared from view up there, they focused on the immediate threat in front of them. <laughs> yeah, the one who's literally standing. In front. Point blank. <laughs> so yes, they they fire. Make a make a defense roll. Plus, 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 plus. Is what? that four pluses? So eight. Four? Oh, crap. That is. Eight? <laughs> um, all right. Well, you, uh... I think I intimidated him. You succeeded with style. 
Excellent. <laughs> so they'll give you a free, uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> they, they're now fearful. They had that permanent aspect on them for entering the encounter now. <laughs> they're fearful. They just sat there and they just fired off the arrows. <laughs> they're shooting they, the arrows. <laughs> they just kind of ricochet off of me. Yeah. While I'm <laughs> licking the blood from my fingers. You just kind of swat them away. And now they're incredibly fearful. Here we go. Excellent. Um, you get to activate that for free. I will do so. The first time. And you have to pay for after that. On each one? Yes. So each one I get one for free. Correct. Alright. The one I'm standing in front of, I'm going to punch through his chest. Alright. <laughs> Uh, that just canceled, so three plus, nah, just three. You gonna activate the, uh, fearful? Yeah, so five. Five? That's enough. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Yeah. I forgot this. It well, yeah, your hand went through his chest. Nice. Oh. Pull a <laughs> Your life is in my hands. <laughs> Next in my belly. <laughs> the guy's entire body is still around my arm. <laughs> Otherwise known as cover. <laughs> <laughs> you mean shield? You mean shield? Yeah. Go ahead and fire. He won't feel a thing. He said fire, huh? Fire? Fatality. Yeah, you hear it. Fatality. Like a voice from the heavens. Fatality. <laughs> Feed me more. <laughs> no, that's the voice in your head. Fatality. <laughs> it's the inner voice. Like a venom. Incidentally, am I getting fed off of this? You'll find out afterwards. Yeah. Right? Alright, so you finished. There's one archer left. And I happen to have a body in between me and him. <laughs> You've got a. Oh, I'm going for the action. action. I'm going straight after him. Stabby stab. Oh, stabby stab for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. That's gonna cancel it out. But I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use my hatred for humans on this to give me a plus two. So it's All gonna right. be a six. Six. Yeah. Just stabby right. stab. And keep stabbing. Just. So you leap from the cliffs. Oh yeah. Oh, I do it like straight up, like beautiful goblin style. Just leap, knife, just two-handed knife in front of me, like da. All right. So you do it. You leap off the cliffs, and you're going towards him. And of course, he raises his bow. And then the reverend over here is trying to reach him in time to stop him. You know, because he's lining up the shot. And then all of a sudden, like his legs go out from underneath him, and you see red with a knife. She just went, yeah, to the back of his legs. <laughs> So, he goes down, the shot goes wide, and then Dobby lands on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> Skip to <laughs> Skip to just kind of, you know, knock him to the ground with impact, yeah. and then you just go to town on him. Yes. Well done, sister! <laughs> <laughs> to the humans! <laughs> um, I'm gonna remove my arm from the guy I've been holding. <laughs> Use as a shield. <laughs> wipe, wipe, <Yeah>. wipe. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. So, I'm gonna need a wet wipe. <laughs> um, I gotta actually look up your CD, sir. But as I do. Uh, um, red, she... I've got... No, no, I have to oh. chart. Okay. Red, uh looks at you and she says I was handling it myself I'm sure you were I did not doubt there was no reason that we couldn't work together though <laughs> said the human and she looks at the goblin and she goes where did you find that ugly thing at 
Desperate times call for strange bedfellows. She's like, whoa! <laughs> whoa. She says, I, I don't need to know any of any of that at all. Don't tell me you've never been curious. <laughs> she says, she's like, not in the least bit. <laughs> It off. As a priest, I'm probably not aware of the insinuations that we're making here. <laughs> the governor does and he says, I cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the goblin go, trophies! <laughs> go ahead and make your uh, roll. No, it's, it's a necklace your, uh, of fingers. <laughs> It's a necklace of figures, but it just fit in so well with the conversation. You so you got plus four, plus three, plus two more. You get plus nine from this encounter. From the encounter? Yeah. And I got plus two from my skill after the roll. So, eleven? Sounds exceptional. <laughs> That does. You succeeded with style. You may choose to go to 9 or 10. Uh, we're going up to 9. Yeah. Does she also appear to have gotten anything out of this fight? Hmm? <laughs> does she also appear to have gotten anything out of this fight? Other than frustration? No. <laughs> you took her session. Yeah. Most likely. Or maybe I did, actually. I took most of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, this goblin's got something wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to earn a safety while even actually having it. <laughs> I am a monster. What you are is something beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, um... I believe the phrase is insane in the membrane. You, you do feel that kind of peace and that satisfaction now. You're like, ah. back to the stroll. <laughs> Perhaps Red would like to travel with us. Oh, Red, she uh, actually. We could use someone as strong as she. She, uh, she actually explains what happened. She uh -huh. said that um, she was taken last night. That what? she's been captured for the... We have, we have about almost a day. We did come looking for you in the woods, but could not find you. Hmm. I think I may have found you, but you ran off so quickly. <laughs> she said she ended up getting away. One time, but then they caught right back up to her. Hmm. I am glad we were here to help you punish your attackers. Yes. <laughs> punish. <laughs> <sighs> so she takes a deep breath and she says, Would you mind escorting me back to town? Just in case their friends arrive. I am currently escorting him to the edge of the woods. Would you mind traveling with us for a time? And then I can get you back to town after? She looks at him collecting trophies. <laughs> she says, I'll go alone. As I'm biting off a finger. As specifically, their middle fingers. He's like, oh, this one's tough. <laughs> this guy's used his a lot. <laughs> this man drank milk. <laughs> um, I have a feeling that it would not be part of my protect the flock to bring him back to town. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay. And I don't want to leave her alone because I've been compelled to protect her as well. <laughs> protect the innocent. Yes. She might hold her own against one, but six. Right. Only a goblin would do that. <laughs> you are a capable fighter. But I am... Special. <laughs> would you be willing to travel back to town with us so that I can make sure she is safe? What's in it for me? More help on your travel. Fine. But don't you dare let a human touch me. I would not let a human touch you. We will escort you back to town. She looks at you and she has this smile across her face. Why, thank you, Reverend. You should know. That town is under my protection. <laughs> As you look around at the bodies? Yeah. <laughs> I see you guys head back to town? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So you head back to town. Get back to town. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you head back to town and you open the uh, you open the doors to church. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, you walk in. Red, she's already gone. You going back to her house. As soon as you got to town, she's already going back to her home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you follow him to church, Dobby? <clears throat> but I willingly walk into a human or do you town. Find town? Let's see. Huh? I, I guess I willingly walk into his church. <laughs> it is made of stone. So you walk Even in. more of a reason why I was struggling to walk in. <laughs> you walk in, you know, through the doors. Uh, you've had an afternoon, yeah. as much as a night. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, right out there waiting for you in the front, uh, Rebecca. Naturally. Yep. And she's just sitting there, just kind of, you know, waiting. And she sees you, and she says, well, hello, Reverend. She sees your arm and <laughs> the blood stained clothes. She goes, out for a stroll again. Well, I was trying to guide our friend here to his destination safely. And we happened across our dear friend Red from last night. We brought her back home. He made me come back. There was an incident in the woods, and I was practically holding a man's heart in my hands at one point. Now we start singing one little two, little three dead humans, <laughs> four little five, little six dead humans. <laughs> you <like> gold. <laughs> Perhaps you remember the incident from some years ago. I think they have returned to this area. She asks, she asks you, she says, Did you find anything useful? We found slavers. Other than organs. We found slavers in the woods. <laughs> organs? <laughs> There's some creepy stuff going on out here, too. <laughs> oh, you missed the best of it already. Oh, and then, of course, Homeless man was uh, sleeping in the pew. <laughs> and I know, wakes up. He wakes up and hears, What? Organs? <laughs> the instrument. Sleep. 
Oh. <laughs> no, really, there were hearts. It was gross. <laughs> Again. <laughs> One little, two little, three little, <laughs> <laughs> four little, yeah. five little, kind of like six little, like that thing from the Goonies, you know, with the yeah. skeleton pieces. <laughs> okay, so, you ask her what? But I'm letting her know that I found slavers in the woods. And... They seem to have returned to this area after nearly ten years. Mm. Well, she says, did you find anything useful about the beast you encountered? I hope that it will not be a problem again. <laughs> I think we may have chased it off for, for now. She says, hmm. Yes. In my research, it has not been around for 20 years. <laughs> she stops for a moment. 20 years? Yes. How do you know this? I point to the book that I was reading. She goes over and she grabs the book. She starts looking through it, starts reading it. And then she points at the name. And she says... I know who this is. You do? Yes. I was hoping to find somebody that would know something about it. He used to live here in town. He moved about five years ago. He was a smith. Oh? Was he a blacksmith? <laughs> yes. He was actually the town's blacksmith. Thanks. Do I hear that? Yes. My ears perk up. I'm listening a little closer. <laughs> he stops <laughs> chewing on a finger. <laughs> <laughs> and then she looks, she kind of closes the book. And she says, well, I found some little information as well. Oh. Turns out that the uh, corpse that the guardsman found was not too far from the From the where? Now, <laughs> Be quiet. Quiet. Making all the noise. From the cavern. Where? Yes. You and Luke. That is Luke. intriguing. <laughs> yes. Somewhat grinds my gears. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, I, the, that's the goblin. Peter Griffin? <laughs> As I'm moving pews around so that we can so that we can sit and have a conversation. Meanwhile, the goblin is there taking his fingernails on the pew. <laughs> <laughs> Dobby was he. <laughs> yes. Um, what is it? Uh... Yes, she uh, she found that information. Are these people you're hanging out with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's hanging out with all the apostles? The, they're guardsmen in my church. Uh, she looks, she says, yes, it's uh, very fascinating that within the time frame that this happened. That would interesting. That would explain some things that I heard in the woods. Yes. Well, she says, I know who this blacksmith is. I'm going to go pay him a visit. Perchance, would you mind if I came along? Oh, she looks at you and she says, you seem um, preoccupied at the moment. I do have places to go. She kind of looks at you and she kind of points, you know, to your cheek, kind of like, you know, <laughs> to rub it off. Hank. <laughs> Pull my hanky out of my pocket. <laughs> it's like, oh, you missed a spot with blood. <laughs> I was rather close. <laughs> According to your arm, pretty personal. Yeah. I make no secrets that I am a hands on <laughs> preacher. <laughs> Right, you definitely lay your hands on people. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat to different effect than normal. <laughs> You're exercising a demon. <laughs> Be healed. <laughs> I gotta get this demon out of your heart. 
expose it to the light. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Rebecca just looks at you. She yes. And she says, I will see you in a few days' time. I would be glad to have you here to protect the town while I am gone. Lots of things hiding in the darkness. And then I turn to uh, the wino that's laying there in the pew. Yeah. And ask him if he can pass a message to Brother John to make sure that the uh, church is maintained while we're gone. Nobody should miss me until Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, however, if you want to donate, <laughs> <laughs> please bring all donations to Brother Judas. He is our accountant. That's <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> He's going to betray you and commit suicide. I have a feeling of this. <laughs> oh, but he's good with the money. Oh, gosh. Finds donations in the strangest of places. <laughs> okay. So, um, anyways. <laughs> Moving on. You're making your preparations for your uh, travels elsewhere. Yeah. Um, new suit. Coat, at least. Wash up. <laughs> yeah. Rinse off. Put on a rain slicker. Burn the previous clothing because, you know, blood doesn't come out. <laughs> Baking soda. Put a new finger necklace on. I think Colin's getting all pimped out. <laughs> He's all walking to town. Bling bling. <laughs> he starts exclusively taking fingers that have rings on them. <laughs> He's had his gold necklaces hanging to the ground because he's a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> so shiny. <laughs> this is gonna be his breakout hit. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he murders humans. <laughs> All I'm saying is if Rebecca ever figures out who's been killing people in the woods, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Dexter with blood on his hand. What am I? No, handling blood is my job, obviously. The... I mean, it's right there in the book. Chris said my blood. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No. <clears throat> Alright, so you guys make preparations and you head out? Yes. Yep. Cool. Obviously, before sunset. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, it's, uh, Rebecca actually grabs a couple of torches and uh, she gathers her belongings and she meets you in the town square. Mm -hmm. And she says, Just remember, this town is about a day away. I appreciate you bringing what I had forgotten. <laughs> so, anyway, she hands you. Dobby's like, you forgot nothing. You know, it's a <laughs> fireball. Hey, just because you've got fireballs doesn't mean that we can't light torches, too. <laughs> and she hands you a torch. She says, well, you're no stranger to traveling at night time. That I am not. I do feel strange leaving. But I am glad to know the town is in capable hands. <laughs> Thanks for listening for another episode of Saturday Night Gaming. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram. 
You can find other podcasts right here on Podbean, or even look at some of our videos on YouTube. Just search up Saturday Night Gaming. Until next time.